Hi guys, now I have a website, uh, Answers to Freedom, it's all about uh, different methods of uh, becoming free, more freer I should say, um, and uh, a while back a uh, subscriber said why don't you uh, read some of the stuff on here, so uh, I've got to get some content because I won't be back in uh, the Philippines to mid-year, so, um, so I might as well uh, read one of these posts that I've recently done, this is called Humour and Freedom, so I hope you like it, maybe you won't, but uh, you can have a good laugh if you if you don't like it. So um, humor and freedom. Um, let me see. I'll scroll up. One of my favourite quotes is by the late German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, where he supposedly said, "Quote: A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man." Unquote. My two favourite spiritual types that I frequently watch on YouTube are Sadhguru and the Dalai Lama. Both have awesome senses of humor. Sadhguru has his own YouTube channel, and I've seen the Dalai Lama a lot on a really positive YouTube channel by the name of Evan Carmichael. He is a guy that mostly focuses on the top 10 secrets of some of the most famous and successful people on the planet, such as celebrities and business people. He has a few videos on both the Dalai Lama and Sadhguru, which I highly recommend watching. They are all types of humour, uh, whether that be family, slapstick, satire, cynical humour, etc. And some appeals to some, and other people may like a different humour altogether. I have had Russian and South African friends, and they seem to think that death and murder is funny. One time I went into a past Russian friend's house and met his dad, and the first thing he did was look at me, and he pulled out a gun, quote-unquote, and he pointed it at my head, and pulled the trigger, and out came a flame. It was a cigarette lighter, but looked like a real gun. Needless to say, I nearly shat my pants, as I did not know it was fake. Another time, I met a really big South African guy, and he said he was a hitman, and with a dead pan face, he said he hated Australians the most. He was convincing as hell, lol. <laughs> lol means laugh out loud, if you don't know, but uh, anyway. Uh, Australian humour amongst men is usually, to an outsider, very derogatory to others, especially friends. New Zealanders, I have found, have a very cutting, devious sense of humour. The British humour is similar to Aussie humour, but not quite as derogatory and a bit more clever. Americans seem to have a more wholesome sense of humour, although their humour has become a bit more sex-based derogatory in the last couple of decades, I think since movies like American Pie and There's Something About Mary. They also seem to have a bit more cynicism with the likes of Bill Meyer and copycats of his sarcastic style. Now, there are variations of humour in all cultures, so I'm being general, and th this is just based on my own opinion from my observations, and I, and, I, and I have not owned a TV set in seven years. But the bottom line is that if you want to be free, you can't take life too seriously and be fixated on negative things for too long as that is real entrapment. Humour is the thing that destroys seriousness and the mor moroseness that comes with it, which leads to conditions like alcoholism, drug addiction and depressive and anxious states of being. Here are some quotes on humour that you may like. And this is from Mark Twain. Humour is a great thing, the saving thing. The minute it crops up, all our irritation and resentments slip away and a sunny spirit takes their place. And this one by Oscar Wilde. Uh, it, is, it is a curious fact that people are not... Are, are, whoops, I've missed out a letter there. It's a curious fact that people are not never so trivial as, as when they take themselves seriously. I have to fix that typo there. Uh, this one by Taki. Humour is a reminder that no matter how high the throne one sits on, one sits on one's bottom. And this one by Dwight D. Eisenhower. A sense of humour is a part of the art of leadership, of getting along with people, of getting things done. And uh, this one by Forrester Eastman. It is the ability to take a joke, not make one, that proves you have a sense of humour. Uh, Max Forrester Eastman, actually. Uh, this one by Irma Louise Bombeck. When humour goes, there goes civilization. 
Uh, this one by Jennifer Jones. I think she's an act uh, actress. Uh, if you could choose one characteristic that would get you through life, choose a sense of humour. Anyway, hope, hope this has helped you be less serious, encourage you to use a bit more humour in life. There's enough serious, scaremongering people in the world, so let's inject a bit more humour to offset those clowns. Lol. All the best. So uh, anyway, uh, if you like that, give it a thumbs up, folks. But uh, please let me know uh, what you think uh, of the humour in your country, or you might want to compare it with other uh, countries, you know, give your opinion on other people's countries, where your type of humour stands in relation to other people's uh, countries' humour, etc. And maybe give me some um, uh, good YouTube shows, because I don't go to TV. Um, a lot of the uh, comedies are on YouTube, like um, Mr Bean and Faulty Towers and all that. I watch them quite regularly, and uh, uh, Monty Python, etc. So, um yeah, if you can give me any ideas of some funny stuff, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. See you later. Just leave that stuff in the uh, comments section. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Ciao.